what's going on what's going on welcome back to the channel one man's walk i am your host gamal back at you with another one so what do we have for you today well the notorious big aka biggie smalls put out a new project i know you're wondering how we did that he's passed since 1997 but lo and behold there's a new project by him the song is called g-o-a-t greatest of all time it features ty dollar sign um knowing how much i love big i said let me give it a listen and I'm here to get my thoughts on it right after this intro. Clean your house music. You can clean to it. Welcome back. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and get into this Notorious B.I.G. G.O.A.T. single. I guess it's a single. Maybe an album's coming. I'm not quite sure. Um, it just popped up on Apple Music yesterday and I said, let me go ahead and play it. It was new. I checked it out. I enjoyed it a lot, but I do have some thoughts on it. But before we get into that, let's do a little housekeeping. If you guys have not already done so, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content. Behind me, you see that we have the latest video that's up right now. That is the Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Morale, and the Big Stepper. Um, we have it in different ver uh, variations, so you may be able to see breakdowns of certain songs that are up, what I call shorts, as well as the full album. So feel free to check that out. Ton of other stuff on the channel. We got some new stuff coming, so stick around. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, definitely subscribe. So with this big record, so I have some thoughts on it. We're going to go ahead and play it. I'll, I'll play it so you guys can get a, a glimpse of what's going on. But I do have some thoughts. I like the beat. Oh, Pop said it for me. I like this. So let's, let's bring it up. So, right off the break, if you are a big fan, um, I did do the Life After Death album, feel free to check that out. You are familiar with where this verse is coming from. This is the I Love the Doe verse with him and Jay, um, Jay-Z uh, featuring Angela Wimbush from the Life After Death, which is the greatest double CD ever. Now, this is my gripe. Now, this is a, a really good, I want to say uh, remix of lyrics of Big's lyrics, right? Obviously, they put a new beat on it, but it's a new breakdown of lyrics per se. Now, my thought is this. Big died in 1997. Big put out a double CD. Big gave us two albums. He gave us Ready to Die. He gave us Life After Death. To my understanding, when people are making music, not just the 18, 19 songs or whatever that made Ready to Die are all that was on there. Not just the records that made Life After Death, the 20 odd, 27 or so songs made it on there. There are tons of records I am sure Big made that have never seen the light of day. When they came out with the Born Again CD, which well, I was not a fan of, I did buy it obviously to support, but was not a fan of, the one song that I that I loved was the Can I Get With You? And really what I loved was that it was new lyrics by Big. The problem I've had with Puff all, all these years is that we keep getting rehashed lyrics from songs we are already familiar with and love. Whether it's coming from Ready to Die, whether it's coming from Junior Mafia, whether it's coming from Life After Death, whether it was on Hardcore, whether it was on uh, 112, whatever, whatever bad boy affiliate that these verses popped up on, we just keep getting them rehashed. Why can't we get new verses? I remember my man Ro, um, back in the day, we had, I can't think of who the DJ was, but whoever the DJ was, it might have been Dollar Bill, to be honest with you, but whatever, whoever the DJ was, they had an un 
released freestyle by Big. Like one we had never heard before. It was super hard. I have it on cassette tape somewhere in the attic. Super hard. Never, I've only heard it that one time on a freestyle. I was watching the Math Hoffa um, DJ Clue um, interview, which was a really good interview. Shout out to Math Hoffa. That was a really, I, I do like his channel and his content. And I love Clue, and I love Clue. Clue was on there talking about, man, I got so many unreleased records from all of these artists. I assume Big as well. He's like, I just didn't release because, you know, couldn't get clearance or whatever the case may be. But to think that Big does not have unreleased verses that have not seen the light of day, why can't we just get the songs that he made that did not make Ready to Die, did not make Life After Death, did not make the Junior Mafia Conspiracy album, right? Why can't we take a compilation of those get new producers like how we have here and make records make new records with material we have not heard like i feel like that's a no-brainer but for whatever reason puff does not do that sorry if i sound frustrated that's been my gripe for years anybody who knows me knows that's how i feel about that um again the verses are fire we know the verses are fire you know what i mean like Trying to see five mil off the single, for real. You ain't phasing the amazing, while your gun raising, mine is blazing. Take it for weakness and leave quick. So instead of that, you know, blah, uh, rock a, a bad boy Rockefeller. This is smooth though. Like, I'm not here to say it's not. It, it is really good. And then um, here comes Ty Dollar's verse. I do like it. It's 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 a very smooth record. This is this is fire. And then again. Roll shakers in Vegas. You can't break us. Lost chips off Lakers. Gassed on Shaq. Country house, tennis courts, and horseback. Who say mobsters don't prosper? Me, I'm critically acclaimed. So, this it is fire. It is a really good record. I do enjoy it. If these were big verses that we had not known, I would have been really hyping it. But obviously, this is the I Love the Doe verses. There's no extra verse. There's no, I mean, man, can we get like how we got the Big Papa remix where we got variations or like a flip of like the third verse? You mean to tell me Big doesn't have another verse that maybe we could throw in there as an extra verse? I don't know. I just feel like there's so much that Puff is holding on to in the vault that he's just refusing to release and keeps taking the easy way out of just giving us rehashed Big verses. And I'm like, come on, man, just give us something new. Like, if, if you're good, I mean, like, I'd rather you not put out anything, to be honest with you. Leave Big's catalog as the only artist. And again, this is probably due to the fact he died so quickly. But he's the only artist that has two classics where he doesn't have a dud, right? Other people have multiple classics. Jay has a few classics. Nas has a few classics. I think Snoop has two classics. That Blue Carpet Treatment is a really good CD. But they all have duds because they they were around long enough to make them big had two albums and both of them are classic no duds so can we just get some other music you know but what are your thoughts um what do you feel about puff rehashing old big lyrics do you guys even care are you guys unfamiliar with the music and so it sounds like new verses to you? What are your thoughts? Um, let me know. But as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day, weekday, weekend, whenever you're listening, however you're listening. I thank you for listening. Till next time. I do want to say, so this is new, but this is the outro. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for sticking out to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for some of the other content that you see up right now. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed, productive, stress-free day. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post bell notifications so that way you don't miss any of this amazing content. Share, share, share.